everybody and welcome back to the Emerald Coast over here at the horse farm just uh, filling up our bubble tank with herbicide down there spraying the uh, shelled corn and we're going to be spraying the um, sunflowers down by the pig farm and we ran the sprayer out of uh, herbicide Came on up here to get the uh, refill tanker. Spray herbicide this morning and uh, see if we can't get that hay we cut last night dry. Before we go down there to the herbicide sprayer and fill it up, I do want to swing by that, uh, that field and just check and see how the grass is doing. Left it overnight to dry. Did get our silage corn sprayed last night. It should be good to go. These guys over here, they need to out another field of soybeans. I haven't seen a single field of soybeans come up out of the ground yet. Little concerned about the soybeans. In fact, I'd say if we don't see the beans come up here in early summer, then probably going to be a good idea. I'm probably going to cultivate the uh, seeds into the ground and uh, put some cotton in those two new fields that we got by the cow farm. Whoa, what are you doing? Great check on me. In these houses here, they're probably wondering what all this activity is. The guy said he hadn't worked this field in about five years, so probably have aren't used to seeing trucks and tractors come up through that road. Like we're still a little bit not quite dry. Birds are rather opportunistic. Not quite dry here, so to hang out here for another couple hours. Dries up. And we'll be able to <coughs> I mean ideally I'd like to uh, maybe get in here around noon, one o'clock, and uh, rake it up. Then uh, let it dry a little bit more. Then come in with a baler around three or four. Bale it up. Depending on how long it takes to get it baled, we might uh, might be able to get the bales up off the field tonight, this evening, or we might have to wait till morning. There's no rain in the forecast still. Right, let's pull up the forecast here. Forecast, we've got clear skies all day today. Cloudy, but clear. Same with tomorrow. Maybe rain on Wednesday. 60% chance of rain on Wednesday. Pose it 100% chance of rain on Thursday. Well, we've seen that story before as of late. Then about the time Thursday would roll around, it is well, not raining. They said we're in a dry pattern here. And we've been in a dry pattern for quite a while. 
Although sometimes it doesn't seem like you would tell because we've got standing water places. The only thing is we have super, super shallow groundwater in some of these spots. Really excited about these uh, dozen Holstein bulls. Excited. Like free money right there. Got the sprayer here on the edge of the field. Got these two fields up here sprayed. And we ran out before we could too far into another field thing hooked up pumping some herbicide over gauge here I don't think we have too much worry about uh, about this freezing. Get that thicker there. About full. A good deal. These wings spread, fly like an eagle. It's more like a condor. These big old, uh, big old booms. Got those two fields, and again, this is our shelled corn. I shell this corn for silo. Eventually we'll sell it. And then we're going to basically do a new process this autumn with this corn fodder. We're going to bale up this shelled corn, put this corn fodder, corn chaff, corn stalks, whatever you want to call stuff that comes out the back. Actually, break it, windrow it up together, and uh, bale it up into uh, corn fodder bales. We're going to use that for bedding this winter in conjunction with our straw for our cows. They've been doing this in the north quite a bit. Cows seem to enjoy it because they like to pick through it and find. Uh, Leftover corn bits, over cob, gray, uh, gray corn kernel. Did get a little bit of this braid before a sprayer got empty. We'll go ahead and finish spraying this field. Uh, we'll see if we can't uh, get the sunflower field sprayed there, and then we'll go check out our hay and see if it's, uh, well, our grass, see if it's managed to uh, get dry enough to windrow. Bring you back uh, once we get these two fields done. Well, welcome back, guys. You're just about done our field of sunflowers here just one o'clock we're kind of on schedule
A little bit left to spray here. Then we'll run up to our grass field. Well, not our grass field, but hopefully what's mowed there is now hay. It is our hay. Hold up her wings. These guys to fold up real quick. Hopefully that grass is now dried, the hay will be able to uh, get over here to the cow farm, grab our E7, get up there and uh, windrow it up. We'll wait till about, I don't know, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Give the uh, wind road a chance to uh, dry a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to roll it over. So the hay that was on the bottom will now be exposed to the sun and the wind. That will aid in its drying. We'll come back around 4, 4.30 and uh, get that all bailed up. Hopefully it won't take that long to get it bailed up since we're now going to be doing square bales. We're not going to have to stop every time. Poplar is looking real good. We're going to chip it this time. We're going to use our forage harvester with a special front attachment. We're going to chip it. A storage building up behind the uh, horse farm. We're going to store it in. Most of the guys, those folks are at work, so they're not going to be bothered by our uh, farm machinery coming up the road there. Oh, yeah, looks good. I don't even need, don't even need to get out. Great. So I'm going to head on down here and get the... Uh, P7 hooked up to a rake. Gotta get on up here and start raking it. So I went ahead and activated our guidance steering because I'm going to use that to kind of aid in our windrowing. Do is I want to just windrow the middle. We're going to make a couple headlands. Uh, basically gather up the rest what I want to do is I want the uh, put the hay now in windrows to dry a little bit more before we come out here with the baler This job's pretty easy. Not a lot going on, so I'm just going to turn on the radio and, uh, well, let guidance steering help me out. 
make our rows. Talk to you on the other side. Oh gosh, it's about 3.20 already. Going to rake these last bits together. Going to do two kind of two and a part headlands around the field. And probably by the time we go get our baler, get it back up here, it'll be good enough. Get bailed up. Field so far. Last bit together. Last round. Go ahead and finish this up and uh, go hook up our baler. We'll hook up our new bail wagon. Get Daryl to help me uh, bring those up here. Get started uh, getting this hay off the field. All right, I got Daryl behind us. P7 with the new. New Anderson bale trailer. Got our new New Holland square baler. Hooked up to our T8. Be able to hammer this field out pretty darn quickly. So make sure that I've got the bail counter zeroed out. And these are the first bales that we've made on this thing, but uh, doesn't mean that this is a, isn't the first time this baler has actually had bales run through it. So let me go ahead and make sure that's zeroed out, and then I'll be back with you. Right, that was indeed zeroed out, so we're good to go. Get the twine, it's all good. 
Hang up the speed. Turn our beacon off. We're out here in the field now. All right, let's hit it. Hit it and see how she does. First product into the baler. Standing, outstanding. All right. Sounds like it's running good. I just heard the nodders. A little bit more. Get that bale pushed through the unit a little bit. See if we can watch the nodders work. Ah, yep. Just saw another one. Go check it out. I guess my blinker's still on. Oh yeah, those guys are good. Good and tight. Good, let's go ahead and rock and roll this thing. Bale should have been dropped off at this point. There she is back there. Yeah, those bales look dense. Oh, it's getting a lot compacted in there. Good to see. What I'm going to do is we're going to bail these outside windrows. We're going to pick up these outside bales so that they're out of our way. Then we'll just start doing our up and down passes. Check our new, uh, this baler has a new fangled uh, readout. Let's go ahead and check that. Got six bales on that first outside row. And uh, that outside row was a lot thinner than these other windrows. In fact, this windrow here is going to be probably the thickest of the bunch, of the densest. Down through that area. This windrow here, it was, uh, we were picking up some up and down windrows. Kind of gives us a general idea of probably what we can expect off the rest of this field. We're up to nine. Ten bales. Twelve bales off of this. These two outside windrows. And I'm guess I'm gonna guess we're probably gonna get about well maybe about 45 bales, maybe 50 bales off of this whole field. Pretty good. Especially for being grass that uh, really hasn't been cared for for the last several years. I mentioned earlier this uh, the other day. This guy, old farmer, hadn't uh, 
Hadn't worked this field for a long time. Got out of the dairy business a while ago. We're kind of up there in age and uh, well, knew that we had a fair bit of livestock. And uh, the way the weather's been without the rain, we knew that we could use the extra hay. So, uh, else we could come up here and make use of it best we could. Really cool offer. Let me get Daryl started on uh, picking up these outside bales. And I'll start uh, bailing these inside rows. So we've got about 36 bales on the bale counter so far. Two more windrows to go, so I think we're going to get that 50 count. 35 also seems to be a little bit on the... Um, oh, the train's coming through. 45 also seems to be a little bit maybe on the high side, but uh, I wouldn't put uh, 40 bales out of question. There is a train train line back there, back down by the trees. And the, I guess the air must be dense today to now travel that that well. That is going to do us. Taylor handled really well. You know, at Hope. Because brand new and all. We are, we are at 41 bales. 41 gift bales. Pick these out. Last couple that came off the baler. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. I think we've got room here for two more bales on the bale wagon. Two more. I'll haul this back to the farm. Like our bale wagon kind of forgot how many bales it held. I think it's going to hold 14 bales, so I have probably four trips, three trips, 
pickups with our bale wagon. Get all the bales up off the field. I don't see any reason why we won't be able to get all those up off the field tonight. Get them under the shed. Just in case there is a rogue storm comes through, but recent history is going to say that that is probably not going to happen. I want to show you guys where we're going to put these bales, and then I'll let you guys go and get these uh, bales hauled off and uh, get back in the house for a decent uh, decent supper. We're actually gonna store these over here where we had the round hay bales. position here going to smack that uh, pickup arm good excellent all right well like I said we're gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of these guys hope you liked the video if you did please go ahead and click that like button let me know in the comments how are you liking the emerald coast series we are in year six we'll be coming into summer here very very soon halfway through year six already and until next time happy farming be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.